Hey, hello there folks. Welcome to my very first ham radio video. Doing a little planning on the soon to be installed uh, 13 meter mast for my antenna for my South African station. Kilo 1 November Kilo X-ray here by the way. K1 NKX. Yes, it spells kinks. Um, looking at this post here, that is about two and a half meters high. And uh, I think that we can come up maybe a half a meter and uh, put the bottom of a 13 meter pole up fairly high put three holes through and pin it and then I can have a swiveling um, yeah swiveling antenna mass so we can lay it down if we want to that will make one good anchor point there and right here is another post it's already in the ground a good anchor point there and here we have another post and there's another one over there so if I want to anchor here that'll all be fine uh, clear all this stuff out of the way and again we can bush this out you know with some spacers just a little bit and I bet that's gonna work just fine um, I've already promised the lady of the house that I'll be gentle when I dig the trench for the uh, conduit uh, it'll go right over there if you can see that little white thing right there that is the um, receiver dish for the wireless internet we have here uh, the towers are off to the right that way but uh, yeah I can dig a shallow trench right over to that spot and then just shoot right down to the corner that pillar right there and uh, I don't know if you can see that wire loop there but um, yeah that'll work just fine I'm planning on putting up a ZS6 BKW antenna which is an adaptation of the uh, venerable GR G5 VR, RV, G5 RV, okay. Uh, only this is better. It's actually resonant and will not need a tuner, which I don't want to run a tuner. I want to run an FT81, uh, 891, sorry, um, without a tuner because they don't have an onboard. Um, I think we can uh, get a clear spot to tie off one side because it's going to be an inverted V uh, over there somewhere. And that tree right over there which is kind of dead looking it looks like it'll be another good spot to tie the other leg off and that should keep the ends off the ground if that doesn't work out well we can always dig a couple holes and set a couple more posts at the convenient spot or drive in some steel post uh, yeah it's gonna look kind of nice it's gonna be kind of pleasant sitting out on the terrace uh, trying to do contacts and uh, yeah, like I said, uh, that is the receiver dish for the uh, internet. I've already dug a shallow trench here, so it won't be anything to open that back up and lay another pipe in. I already got the fish tape. Not a big deal. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in March 4th. And uh, you can see where I came up. And uh, there's the cable going in for the internet, which is run up that way and then through the wall. I may keep it outside and just run it in through the door or the window if I want to sit inside. But uh, otherwise I could just sit out here on the terrace, set myself up a little table and a chair right there and make contacts. And I can see where, uh, I don't know if my, I don't know what that timer on the screen is, if that's elapsed time or if that's time left on the memory. Anyway. Hopefully I'm going to hear from the local club fairly soon. I've already made contact. I've already made the application for the uh, guest permit to operate here. And I've already registered with the, uh, the um, South African Amateur Radio League, South African Radio League, uh, which is the South African version of the American Radio Relay League, ARRL, which I'm also a member of. Well, I'm going to stop babbling now. Um, oh yes, by the way, we're in a valley that faced east and west. So I'm 
looking forward to making a lot of contacts in Australia, which is behind us, and South America, which is in front of me, and hopefully I'll get some contacts in the States as well. Uh, here's the uh, mountains on our uh, south, because, yeah, that's east. That would be north. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's some towers up on top there. That's what that dish is re getting signals off of uh, for the internet. And over here is the other set of uh, mountains. So, propagation and reflectivity being what it is, I'm anticipating these mountains acting as a funnel and just shoving all the signals almost due east and due west. I'm facing east now. So that's it. Okay, now I'm done babbling. I will um, close this thing out and um, hopefully the next time we come up we will be installing the tower and uh, I'll hopefully walk you through the whole process. Later on. Kilo 1, November, Kilo X-ray, clear.